All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here. Well, out of my lane, but talking about what happened to uh, Matthew Perry in this episode, and of course doing so in real time for a few real people out there, uh, just like you and just like me. So, uh, yeah, hanging out last night and uh, getting all these notifications about Matthew Perry. I got friends paraphernalia all over my house. All right, I've got... um, I've got coffee mugs, I've got soup bowls, I've got uh, wooden placards. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's a show that I really enjoy, and I don't agree with all of what happened on that show. There were some events on there that happened during the 90s that were a little edgy, uh, a little crazy by today's standards, um, probably not, but uh even in hindsight, uh, there's stuff that was said and uh, done on that show that I don't necessarily agree with. But the comedy genius of Matthew Perry can't really be argued with uh, all that much. So let me take a look at um, what happened here in a little detail because it seems a little unclear. So um, you Google this, how did... Matthew Perry die? What was his cause of death? Um, his cause of death was associated with apparent drowning. Apparent drowning. Now, 54 years old, I think it was said that he has a jacuzzi. I'm not sure if he has a swimming pool. I imagine that he has enough money to have uh, several swimming pools and maybe a few different jacuzzis. Um, TMZ, uh, TMZ, by the way, is becoming like the source for breaking news ahead of so-called real journalism outlets, which should be concerning for most people, but because here's the deal. Um, it seems like there are gatekeepers that work for the big news organizations. Um, I'm going to say something about Matthew Perry, uh, thanks to my friend, Tony, who sent me this picture, and uh, it has uh, Matthew Perry wearing this T-shirt probably a couple of years ago. Essentially, his catchphrase, uh, which is, can I be any more, or can you be any more, whatever, um, in that sarcastic way that Matthew Perry would deliver that line. But the punchline is vaccinated. All right. And that's what the T-shirt and I'm sure these T-shirts probably sold out. So you do need to kind of just have that uh, in the back of your mind. I'm not saying that's the problem here, but an apparent drowning. Now, he's an adult. I'm thinking he knows to not drown. Right. I'm sure he's been swimming before. Uh, apparently, there were no drugs or alcohol present. So there was no foul play. Um, and when you look at these headlines, they, they just look, not. I, I would just say very incomplete and very curious. So TMZ again breaks this news. The LA Times, I guess, followed up and was verifying. Um, sources say that first responders also rushed over on a call for cardiac arrest. It's unclear where exactly on the grounds this happened. So it's just bizarre how something like this can't just be reported in a way that um, gives people some closure on this unless there's stuff that they don't want you to know. And so that's why I'm always thinking to myself, how come they just don't tell us? Again, uh, this is according to TMZ, who apparently are the only ones doing any reporting. Uh, Perry was found in a jacuzzi at his own home. The outlet reported that Perry had played a two-hour round of pickleball in the morning and that he sent his assistant out on an errand shortly thereafter. When the assistant returned, he found Perry unresponsive, according to TMZ's sources. Now, if this is true, right, so um, Perry may have had some kind of cardiac event 
which uh, caused him to go under the water. And so was it the water? Was it the actual drowning? Or was it the event? Or was it something else? Uh, and here they say, again, no drugs found at the scene, according to TMZ. An autopsy and presumably a toxology report will need to be done before a formal cause of death is determined. Now, with Perry being an unfortunate advocate of the protocol from two years ago, uh, which again, pretty much all of Hollywood embraced. I don't, I can't think of one well-known celebrity who pushed back against this, at least publicly. Uh, and that goes, by the way, for the music community. I mean, there was like a couple of people who said, it's your right to do what you want to do. Um, but that's as far down that crazy road as people would go. And so here we are now. And uh, look, let me talk about Matthew Perry. Absolutely brilliant actor, comedic timing. Um, when he was on camera, I mean, you could just see the people around him feed off of his energy. He lit up the place. Um, that catchphrase, but not only that, but just being able to deliver the zingers at the right moment, making fun of Joey, especially on that show, was just... I mean, I don't know why they ended Friends when they did and why they didn't spin off with Matthew Perry, most likely because he was struggling with all of these issues behind the scenes. He had written a book last year, I believe, uh, The Friends Reunion. I mean, he didn't look really healthy. He looked bloated. He didn't, you know, obviously uh, all the Friends have aged uh, some have aged better. Uh, some have probably had some work done to keep up appearances. And, uh, you know, Matthew Perry, he just didn't look as good and healthy as the other friends. Uh, when he spoke, he seemed a little unsure of himself. I mean, if you read about all the things that he has gone through or had gone through to this point, it, it's a pretty excruciating list of problems. And really that could have been, you know, the tipping point for him in the end here, but we don't know. We don't know. I mean, to say an apparent drowning, I mean, if you have a cardiac arrest and you fall into some water, it's not the drowning unless of course, you know, they're going to say, Hey, if somebody was there, they could have revived him. And so it was really the water that did him in and not the fact that he had this cardiac arrest. I, right now, I think everything is really uncertain. And uh, will we ever know? I'm thinking with Matthew Perry, you're probably going to need to know. Um, just because so many people care about the guy. I know it doesn't matter at this point because he's not here anymore. It just sounds very unnecessary. It, it sounds like it should have never happened. Uh, some people will take a... 30,000 foot view of this and say it was Hollywood that did this to Matthew Perry. Hollywood did it to him. You know, the fame did it to him. Um, not being grounded and not having your priorities, um, that did it to him. You know, if you want to get all philosophical. Um, but he was a funny guy. He was, he was really talented. And if you're having a bad day, you put on a couple of Friends episodes and Typically, that will snap you out of the funk you're in. You know, there are not a lot of high entertainment value things you can do just watching television, which a lot of people do mindlessly. But with friends, yeah, it's kind of mindless entertainment. But it, I don't know. Those guys just had this chemistry. Not a lot of television shows since then have had that type of chemistry. I think that television show is kind of like the end of an era and not error, but era. <laughs> and, you know, friends was great. Cheers was great. There are a lot of shows from the eighties and into the early nineties. I was a big fan of the show home improvement. Um, it, I mean, there were, there were some, some good shows. You go way back in time and I think things get even more impressive 
with shows like uh, Sanford and Son and the Jeffersons and all all in the family to me, just because there was a ton of controversy on that show, but they made it funny and they poked fun at everybody, which I think is really lacking in today's world of comedy. So in any event, uh, who knows if um, even 10% of my suspicions on all of these problems out there, even if 10% of them were plausible, there should be a full scale investigation into all of it. And people need to know the truth. And I'm talking about the normies out there, not the people that go off the grid and they're on Telegram all day or something. I'm talking about the people who, you know, watch their local TV news channel. All right. Somebody at that news station should say, you know what? Let's do some journalism. Let's investigate what really happened here. You're giving this to TMZ to figure out. And TMZ is definitely getting the story. You know, they're they're beating you to the punch. And what's weird is nobody seems to care because their funding source um, could be the problem here. Let's just be blunt. I mean, how many ads can you get from certain pharmaceutical companies? I mean, how many do you need to see in one hour? Um, and so again, don't want to rock the boat. Don't want to say anything. Everything's fine, safe and effective. Let's just not even th these two things, Dave, they don't even go together. I don't even know why you're going there. I'm going there because he had the t-shirt. Okay. Um, I will put the t-shirt picture if I can get it into the thumbnail of this video. In the meantime, folks, if you can support this channel, all right, I I've had a, couple of days to really think about things. And if things continue to go the way they're going, um, the, I, I'm not going to be able to do the channel this frequently. I'm going to have to start looking into doing other things just, just because, you know, the weird thing is when you are used to hitting a certain level and then all of a sudden they just cut 50% off of that level and you had kind of planned that this was what you're going to do, and uh, you've kind of arranged your life around that, things get really difficult. Um, and so I'm kind of entering into that season. Um, I'm going to be even more reliant on people to chip in a dollar a month, two bucks a month. That's what I'm asking. If I can get one-tenth of my subscription base to do that, then... I wouldn't have to worry. This would just keep going and I could even be more um, controversial. <laughs> I could be more eloquent and I could be portable on top of it, which means if I'm not getting the support from the landlord here, then I can go and just be exclusive to some other place that isn't going to give me a hard time and I can say whatever I want to say and uh, I don't have to jump through hoops. You should see this survey they made me take over here, which I, I felt like I needed to take a shower after I took the survey um, because it was just, I don't know. It's it's like, will you please compromise your principles um, and answer these questions? Because I have a warning on my channel from like two or three years ago when this all started, when the whole Matthew Perry um, possibility of what happened started where he you know, started wearing his T-shirt and I started to be outspoken about stuff. They hit me with a warning. And to get rid of that warning, I basically have to go to a re-education class. Well, I took, I took the survey and uh, I got a few of the questions wrong. And they say, go back, read it again, select the correct answer, the, collect, the, the answer that we want you to select. All right. And then even if you disagree with it, in order to pass this and have this warning taken off your record, this is what you have to do. It's like bad driving school is what it is. So any event, people, um, that's all I got for you. If you can support the channel, please help me out. And in the meantime, um, it's, it's sad. Matthew Perry was super iconic and um, there should have been more friends. It just, the show ended too soon. 
and it should have gone on longer. And I don't know, Matthew Perry, I guess, wasn't capable because of his physical, uh, spiritual and uh, substance abuse condition to, to do more with his life. But uh, it looked as though he was turning things around. And that's what is really tragic about all of this. So I'll leave it there. God bless everyone. Pray for peace all over the world. Let's just pray for peace. Regardless of where you stand on the war and who you side with, uh, best thing you can do is pray for peace. See you soon.